Hello, welcome back to another pen talk, and we're on that same subject again. <clears throat> Chinese fountain pens. So this is one I picked up because I thought it looked interesting in the eBay auction. We'll show you that auction. We have here that logo that apparently is uh, indicative of Wing Sung, but this is called a little bit different name. Nice uh, box. <clears throat> As a little tab here for your retail display. And it is a yellow pen. Comes with uh, six cartridges, three blue and three black. We pop out one of these cartridges. We'll look at the uh, end, and it looks like a slightly large end. So this is something I would say indicative of a pilot or sailor that does that larger end, which some people have talked about. <clears throat> Standard International, which has a smaller opening in it, may end up with ink starvation. So this one will certainly hopefully not suffer that fate. It is definitely yellow. There's no question about it. Kind of looks like a Lamy uh, <coughs> converter in there with the little red uh, turn knob. You know, interesting clip. We have that uh, Wing Sung logo. The three openings are just an interesting graphic. We have your retail sticker on here showing the model number 9130. It's not a big pen. Pull off cap. And with the Lamy tradition, you have a uh, little, two little indents or two little flat spots on the section to position your fingers in the right order. This silver finial at the, both the top of the cap and uh, the barrel. A nice logo in the finial at the top of the cap. Clip is medium spring. I wouldn't call it too tight or too loose. The design is to be posted in that area just fits properly and it fits, it posts very securely and it finds fine in a hand. It's not a heavy pen. You know, unposted. It's a little on the short side and even though the cap has some metal in it, it really doesn't add anything uh, and the balance is fine. I have a white liner in, in the cap. So that'd be nice if that was clear. So then when you cap the pen, you could see the, the nib. But it is nice that the section is clear, at least it's transparent yellow, and the feet is clear, as you can see. And it looks like it's a standard nib, probably a number five size. I'll be adventurous and see how easily this comes out. Nope, I need my grippers. Well, if you look at it, you can see it's that wing design, which is very similar of the Pilot. So this is a mashup of a Pilot feed and nib design with a kind of a Lamy uh, grip section to it just unscrews and you can see there's a little spring in there, a little agitator that is in some of these uh, converters to keep the ink, you know, uh, not from sticking to the sides and maybe starving uh, the ink flow. Comes out very easily and you can see that large opening there at the bottom. So um, that's it. I'm going to do a flush and um, figure out what kind of ink I want to put in here and see how it writes. I use my little grippy grip to pull out the nib and feed and you can see that design. So the nib comes out easily, it only fits in one spot, so this will take any of those Pilot Nibs, Metropolitan, uh, Plumix, 78G, Kakuno, whatever. Nice clear feed, so that's how it goes and it looks like you can see that little area here that uh, opens it up, makes it bigger than what's here on the feed to fit the uh, converter or the cartridges depending upon what you want to use. And when you fit it in, obviously it goes in one way because of it needs to fit the same way inside the section so it lines up with the facets there for your fingers. 
I talked about Flushing. Here's that bulb, which is the Radio Shack bulb, which seems to work with almost any uh, pen that uh, is, is anywhere near standard. I mean, this has a great flow to it. So that's what's nice. And as you can see, that water comes out pretty good. So this is a good flush, and it'll make certain it's nice and clean when the ink goes in. What ink to put in a yellow pen? I'm not a yellow ink person, but I thought orange might be a good one to try. And this is a decent ink. I've had this in a few other pens, and it's been a good performer. I think some people have talked about Monteverdi is, is now getting more involved in inks, and uh, the few samples I have, I've been, I enjoy. Nice little label, in case you forget what it was. And definitely a, a darker orange. It seems to have a fairly much of a red tint to it, or favoring the red side of the orange family. So let's... Uh, we're going to do a three fill, but I always like to do the first fill and show you what it came up to. It filled out about halfway. Ooh, really looks nice in that feed. So I'm uh, at least happy with that combination. So we're going to go down, back up. And just that second one, we're now almost completely full. But again, I want to flush. I want to make certain that we got the best ink saturation. I leave it set a few seconds after that last pull just to make certain all the ink comes up. And as you can see, it's about the same height that it was before. So that's probably as full as you're going to get without playing around with, you know, turn it upside down, taking ink, you know, expelling air. So not worth that. So we're going to wipe it off and put it to paper. Just do a quick comparison on size. So here we are next to the uh, Lingmo New Moon, your Twisby Eco, your Wingsung 698, and your Twisby 580. So it's definitely on the small side, uh, more similar to the, the New Moon, certainly not in the same family as uh, these other three, which are much larger. The other thing I wanted to show you was this is a um, pilot cartridge. As you can see, that opening is much larger than the one that is on the filler in this uh, Wingsung pen. We're going to call it Wingsung because that seems to be the other more popular name of the pen. So I was uh, mistaken to think that that was a different type of filler, but we'll see how the flow of the ink works. So a lot of people like a pull-off cap, so that's what this has, and it's not a pen I would write with unposted. And weight-wise, putting a cap on there and it's a very secure fit um, really changes the balance a little bit, but not significant. As I mentioned, this pen is known as a Yong Sang, which is another wafer wing sung. As I also see it listed in eBay under Duke, so it's readily available in, in many colors, including a solid black. All of them have the 9130 designation, so that's consistent. I mean, this is an extra fine nib, and I've experienced this nib before on some of, of the other uh, wing sung type of um, pilot feeds and systems. So this is not my favorite. I mean the orange ink looks good. It's again more on the on the red side than on the orange side. You know it, it's hard to get a solid patch of ink out of out of this nib and there's not much ink laid down. It's a, a very dry writer. But as we talked about, the Pilot nibs work. So this is a nib that I took out of uh, Plumix, which I bought specifically to put into some of these Chinese pens, and that has a nice uh, medium 
stub nib on it so we're going to yank this thing out and change it over and see how it writes. So we now have the pilot nib. It was an easy swap, you know, messy, didn't want to do it over the camera, but you know, it worked fine. Uh, the feet is nice and saturated. So let's see how this nib works. I think right away you can see that I like this. Yeah, this is a nice nib. You got a nice fine horizontal line and if you do the vertical there's a decent amount of uh, line variation there. And this is easy to lay down a, a nice patch of ink. And as you can see, much wetter than we got out of this. I mean, uh, to me, there's no comparison. I, I really like these Plumix nibs. This is the third one I have. So now you know you can swap out these nibs with any type of pilot nib. So if it's not a Plumix nib, you can do fine or medium whatever you can find. So hopefully you've enjoyed this little run through on a on a different type of pen. Um, would I buy it again to um, quote Waskis Girl? No. Uh, you know I'm happy that I explored this. I think the interesting design features uh, make this pen uh, a unique and again it's a, a mashup of a lot of different things. The yellow color is nice. It works good with that clear feed and section. I mean, this orange ink really pops in there. So, I hope you've enjoyed this review of another interesting pen from China. Thank you for watching. May you have many great writing experiences. Enjoy ink, pen, and paper. And enjoy your life. Till later. Bye.